the failure of Attorney General Barr to come to the hearing today is simply another step in the administration's growing attack on American democracy and its attack on the right of Congress to be a coordinate branch of government and to have the information it needs to legislate and act on behalf of the American people. The administration, by its policy of across the board, uh, uh, across the board uh, defiance of congressional subpoenas and of is, is saying that only the executive matters, that we don't need, we don't want limitations by Congress that the Constitution imposes on us. This is a grave danger for American democracy, and we must do all we can in the name of the American people to ensure that when the Trump administration ends, we have as robust a democracy to hand to our children as which was handed to us. And today is a day of testing, and everyone will be judged by history by, in terms of how they react to this. going to get bogged down in the courts and that because of your insistence on letting staff attorneys do some questioning that it will now take even longer for you to get the answers that you've been demanding. We are going to use what, what process we have in the courts and elsewhere to get the answers and the information we need in particular uh, the subpoena for the, un, for the entire unredacted Mueller report and the underlying documents uh, was due yesterday. The Attorney General, we got a letter late last night refusing us, refusing to adhere to the subpoena. This is uh, indefensible, and it is part of the attack on American democracy by this administration. Uh, we will make one more good faith attempt to, ne to, to, to negotiate and to get, uh, to get the access to the report that we need. And then, and then, if we don't get that, we will proceed to hold the Attorney General in contempt, and we'll go from there. How long are you going to give the Attorney General to answer your questions uh, and to negotiate in good faith before you hold Day or two. Mr. Chairman, is so this by the end of the week you want this resolved? Maybe by Monday. We'll see. Mr. Chairman, why not negotiate a middle ground about the format of today's hearing? I mean, haven't you, in a sense, made it harder to get these answers that you've been asking for? We cannot concede to the administration the ability to control the manner in which Congress does its job. The Attorney General is bound, as are other witnesses, to come before the committee, uh, and they, he cannot dictate to us how we will do our job. We feel, feel this is the most effective way of doing it, and that's our decision. How do you respond to that? It's brought up the idea of, of uh, using fines as part of the Say inherent. again. Your colleague, before you came out, brought up the idea of maybe imposing fines under inherent contempt as a, as a, a way to try to get him to comply. Is that something that's on the table? How would that, how would that work? That's not something we see every day. We will explore all the options, and inherent contempt is certainly one of the options. How do you respond, how do you respond to the DOJ saying that you're a lawyer? Why can't you question <laughs> The administration, the attorney general apparently is afraid of proper cross-examination. We ask questions under the five-minute rule, and we've seen a pattern from this administration. The administration witnesses filibuster for four and a half minutes and then give a non-responsive answer for the, next five, for the next half a minute, and then it's on to a different questioner who may have other questions in mind or may not properly follow up the way it, a good cross-examiner would. So we feel the best way of doing this is to have all our members ask their five minutes of questions each and have counsel be able to, cl to, 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 to bat clean up, so to speak, at the end, uh, follow loose ends, and be able to hold the, the witness, the Attorney General in this case, uh, to ask follow-up questions so, so that he can't evade uh, as easily as he can. And obviously, the Attorney General is, is afraid to face that kind of questioning. I mean, what, they, what we saw today is besides the attitude of contempt the administration has for, for Congress, what we saw was fear. Fear of effective cross-examination, uh, period.
There was the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee there. Again, you know, Poppy and I both were talking about this, not mincing his words. He's talking about a growing attack on American democracy, yeah. this refusal to come. Not, not just Barr's refusal, but other administration officials. Right. A grave danger for American democracy. Look, the Democrats are dug in here. Mm. Uh, they're going to fight this. He, you know, he talked about just a few days between now and when he will issue a mm. subpoena, perhaps hold bar in contempt. Let's talk about all of this. Laura Jarrett is with us at the Justice Department again. Our attorney, Ellie Honig, Jackie Kucinich on the political side of all of it. So, I, Ellie, just to you on where we go from here, um, what do you expect? Do you expect Bill Barr will be held in contempt? And as the journalist, one of the journalists in the crowd rightly asked, isn't that just going to get all tied up in the courts and just, you know, drag out the clock here? So I'm not particularly optimistic that their last ditch effort that Representative Nadler talked about to negotiate will succeed. Right. And assuming it does not succeed, then yes, next step would be contempt. And then we're going into the courts. And yes, it will take time. And yes, it will get sort of complex and difficult.